Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars mock review. And in this video, I'll be reviewing my Duel of the Fates mock, which is based off of Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, when Obi-Wan Kenobi and Qui-Gon Jinn are fighting Darth Maul on Naboo. I made this mock in 2015, but since then, I've upgraded it quite a bit, and it's a great piece to display in your room. Now you might ask yourself, why is it so small, like most of my other mocks, and the reason for that is because I have a limited supply of LEGO for making custom things that are here to stay in my collection, so I use my LEGO wisely to make as many scenes from the movies as possible. Anyway, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, be sure to check out this video, it explains our view in Star Wars briefly, the link will be in the description down below. Now before I review the mock, I'm gonna quickly go over the minifigs that I used. Now as you can see, I used all three of the characters that are supposed to be in this scene, the first one being Obi-Wan Kenobi as a Padawan, which is from the Battle of Naboo set, whose number is 75169. Now the second minifigure is Qui-Gon Jinn, who is also from the exact same set as Obi-Wan, but you can also get those minifigures in other sets. And now the third minifigure is Darth Maul, who is partly from the Duel of Naboo set, because I changed his weird looking face with an old Darth Maul face, from the 2011 Sith Infiltrator set. Anyway, now it's time to get into the actual mock. Specifically what I made here is the scene where the two Jedi Knights fight Darth Maul through the door, which leads them to the generator complex, because it's one of my favorite scenes in The Phantom Menace. Now as you can see, the door is closed, even though in the movie it was open, and the reason for that is because I wanted the door to be visible, because I paid a lot of attention to it, and I simply wanted to get it right and accurate. Now the pieces that I used for the door are those lightsaber pieces here. They're crucial to make that look of the door from the movie, because in the, in the movie I remember these pieces kind of move and then the door opens, so it's a really nice addition to this by my thoughts. Also here we have some tiles, actually quite a bit of them. As you guys know, I think the tiles make everything look better, that's why I use them a lot. Although I didn't put a lot of them here, no need for it. And these ones have stickers on them with some kinds of controls, and these are some types of vents for extra details simply. Also have some of these lights on the walls next to the door, and these barrels which are seen in the landing zone of the Naboo Starfighters. The entrance to the generator complex leads to a catwalk, and as you can see it's not too accurate to the one in the actual movie because the color is completely different and also because I added some of those extra lights on the sides, as you can see here. What I made here is only supposed to be the start of the catwalk, which would then go all the way to the laser security gates, which you remember from The Phantom Menace, where Obi-Wan would get separated from his master. Now here is a look at the back of the gate and the wall, which isn't even visible when it's on display, but nonetheless, if I'm doing a review on the mock, I'm reviewing every single part of it. So as you can see, the gates are sealed shut by those pieces at the back, and there's no moving them. And that is mostly because there is no need to. This is what the mark looks like from down under, so the point of me showing you this is if you want to build it yourself, this is what's holding all the pieces on top together. Especially the long pieces right here, as you can see. I also included some circular pieces on these three spots, so that uh, when it's on display, the mark looks like it's hovering, kind of. So I put the minifigs back on their place, and this is what it looks like. I always put Qui-Gon Jinn to be the first to charge at Darth Maul, because after all, he is the master here, but Obi-Wan Kenobi is not too far behind. So it kinda makes sense. On the other hand, we have Darth Maul, who is charging at them as well because of reasons, and this is what it looks like from another angle. I'm really proud of how I did the catwalk on which they're running, especially the lights. Anyway guys, this is it on the mock review, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to check out our other videos and subscribe. The links to the playlists for my other mock reviews will be in the description down below, as well as the playlist to my set reviews and custom minifigure builds. For those who don't know, this is not the first time I've reviewed this mock, and if you want to see the old version of it, it's been moved to our other channel on which we upload our old and outdated Star Wars and LEGO videos, so be sure to also subscribe there, the link will be in the description below as well. And also for my room tour video in which you can see my whole LEGO Star Wars collection. And after you watch that, tell me in the comments down below what you want me to review next. Anyway, remember guys, 
God is awesome. May the force be with you always. And we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.